Hi everyone, I am your friend Shadab Imam and we are continuing our lecture series on operations research. Those who are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So today we are going to study the exception cases that arises in the graphical method. And in the previous lectures, we have already completed the formulation of linear programming problems and we have seen that how to solve the LPP by graphical method in five easy steps. Okay, so let us start. Uh, as we can see that there are five types of exception cases that arises and the first one the unique solution we have already done the problems in the previous lectures so the examples we have completed in the previous lectures are of unique solution type and in this particular type what happens is there are a number of feasible solutions okay or I can say a number of possible solutions and among them we will select the best possible solution or optimal solution so that is the unique solution type and now what we are going to do is we are going to solve the question first and then see in what uh, in which category our question lies so let us start with the problem and it is given that maximize z is equals to minus x1 plus 2x2 subject to constraint x1 minus x2 less than equal to minus 1 then minus 0.5 x1 plus x2 less than equal to 2 and then non-negativity restrictions that is x1 comma x2 greater than equal to 0 okay now we need to see if this question is following the two prerequisite that we have discussed in the previous lectures so, so the first is that the right hand side value of the constraint should not be negative for any constraint okay so as we can see in the first constraint only that there is a negative value in the right hand side column so what we are going to do to convert this negative into positive we are going to multiply this equation number one that is first constraint by minus one and simultaneously we will reverse this inequality sign okay so our constraint will turn up as x2 minus x1 this inequality will be reversed greater than equal to 1 now these two constraints constraint 1 and 2 these two are following our first prerequisite that means the right hand side value of the constraint is non-negative it has been fulfilled now the second prerequisite is we need to convert the inequalities into equations okay so let us do it fast maximize z is equals to minus x1 plus 2x2 subject to constraints that is x2 minus x1 less uh, greater than equal to 1 and minus 0.5 x1 plus x2 less than equal to 2 and x1 comma x2 greater than equal to 0 okay now what we need to do here is we will convert these inequalities into equations okay so this has been converted into equation okay now the next step is to plot the constraint on the graph so let us draw okay let us start with the first constraint uh, if i put x1 equal to 0 I will get x1 e x2 equal to 1 so if I'll get x1 equal to 0 I'll get x2 equal to 1 so this will be the point 0 comma 1 and if I'll put x2 equal to 0 I will get x1 equal to minus 1 okay so this is the point minus 1 comma 0 now to draw constraint I need to join these two points okay I need to join these two points now to find the feasible region contained by this constraint we need to see the inequality so here in this part we can see that this shows greater than equal to sign that means for greater than equal to sign the feasible region is towards the, uh, sorry away from origin okay always remember for less than equal to sign the feasible region is towards the origin and for greater than equal to sign the feasible region is away from origin so this is our feasible region I've shown it by arrow uh, now one thing we need to see here is that in our question it has been specifically mentioned 
the non negativity restriction that is x1 comma x2 greater than equal to 0 but what i have drawn here is the negative axis of x and y so I, why do i need to draw this negative axis okay it is just for the sake of drawing constraint okay it has no contribution to our objective function as we can see here in this constraint also that this constraint the feasible region is not completely this this complete is not our feasible region okay our feasible region will be this and it may go upward up to infinity so this is our feasible region and this negative part has nothing to do with the problem and we have just drawn it for the sake of drawing constraints clear now moving on to the second constraint if i'll put x1 equal to 0 i will get x2 equal to 2 okay if i'll get x1 equal to 0 i'll get x2 equal to 2 so this will be 0 comma 2 and now if i'll put x2 equal to 0 i will get x1 equal to this is 1 by 2 that means x1 equal to minus 4 so this is minus 4 minus 4 comma 0 now let us join these two points okay now let us see the inequality here to find out the feasible region the inequality is less than equal to type now for less than equal to type we know that the feasible region is towards the origin so this the feasible region of this line is towards the origin okay i am just writing the constraints of the equation this is 0 0.5 x1 minus 0 0.5 x1 plus x2 less than equals to 2 and this is this is x1 minus x2 less than equals to minus 1 clear now as we can see here that previous if uh, previously when we have drawn just our first constraint our feasible region was this and now after drawing both the constraints our feasible region has been reduced to this portion these three points okay so let us say this is point a this is point b this is point c and our feasible region has been restricted to this position this is the area of our feasible region and now to calculate the optimal value at this point we need to find the values of z at all the corners that means a b and c so we'll calculate the value of z at a or a better color z a z b and z c now the coordinate of a are 0 comma 2 coordinate of b b i have calculated already so this is coming as 2 comma 3 okay x1 equal to 2 x2 equal to 3 now if i put x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 2 that is point <coughs> point a x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 2 in objective function i will get 0 plus 2 into 2 4 that means 4 similarly if i put the value x1 equal to 2 x2 equal to 3 this is minus 2 plus 2 into 3 6 6 minus 2 4 so this will come as 4 I, if i put x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 1 this is 0 this will be 2 into 1 1 and zc will come as 2 now we can see here that we are getting two values or i should say two maximum values here at a and at b and both are having different combinations suppose at a the value of x1 is 0 and the value of x2 is 2 where at b the value of x1 is 2 and value of x2 is 3 so 
why this happen let us understand that uh, as we can see that this this problem at this moment has at least two solutions two optimal solutions that means at a and at b and we need to understand that if the two values of z are same at the two corners which is joined by a line then every point on this particular line will have the same value of z that means if there are two corner points showing the same maximum value that means a z a and z b are showing same maximum value and it is joined by a line then each point on this line will have the same maximum value that means if i'll select a point here it will show the same value of z equal to 4 if i'll select a point here it will show the same value of z equal to 4 at any point we will have the same value of z now let us see that between the line a and b okay how many points are there there can be infinite number of points so we have infinite number of combinations of x1 and x2 and <coughs> finally we can say that we have infinite number of solutions here okay so the question we have uh, we have solved we need to uh, verify what we are saying right now so it can be done uh, it can be done by drawing objective function line or we can do this by objective function line approach on also so let us see first of all let us see how to draw objective function on this so i'll take any arbitrary value x1 plus 2 x2 this is our objective function i'll take any arbitrary value suppose i'll taken as 2 if i put uh, if i take x1 equal to 0 i'll take x2 equal to 1 2 by 2 is 1 and if i take x2 equal to 0 if i take x2 equal to 0 x1 will be x1 will be minus 2 okay minus 2 now look, uh, we need to locate these two points so the first is 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 is already been located and minus 2 comma 0 that means minus 2 on the x-axis this is minus 2 comma 0 now let us join this two point and remember that objective function line is drawn as the dotted line okay it is not shown by solid line and this can be written as this line equation can be written as minus x1 plus 2 x2 is equals to z okay this is not 2 this is z so why i have written this equal to z because uh, this is this equation can be applied at any point of time when moving the objective function line where objective function z equal to 4 will come at optimal point that is a and b so as we slide this line above uh, or i should say away from origin as we slide the origin uh, objective function line away from origin we can see that one of the constraint line that means minus 0.5 x1 plus x2 less than equal to 2 this constraint line is exactly parallel to the objective function line what it means is when we are sliding this away from origin the <coughs> normally what happens is that the objective function line crosses one of the points in the feasible region or i should say one of the extreme points and that extreme point will be the optimal solution but but in this case what is happening is it is not crossing a single point okay it is crossing the complete line ab at that instance because the constraint line this and the objective function line this both are parallel so whenever our objective function line moves and the last region it um, separates is not a point but a line ab that means when it exited from this feasible region the last thing or the last point is the line ab that means each point on this line will have 
the same maximum value of z okay so this is the clear case of multiple solution or <clears throat> there is another name we used infinite number of solution for this particular type so this this question is completed and in the coming lectures we will see how to solve the other exceptional cases that arises in the graphical method and if you are uh, new to the channel please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon have a nice day